السلام عليكم نينجاز اهلا وسهلا بكم تشيك ات اوت ورا هافين ماي هاندز فور انبوكسينج اند ريفيو هير هاندز اون ريفيو ات از ذا ريل مي 5 اي نينجاز يس ذيس ديفايس از ذا بروبلي ذا بيست كومبيتيتور فور ذا ريدمي نوت 8 جلوبال فيرجن يو كان باي ات فور 150 دولارز اون بانجو دوت كوم رايت ناو ذيس از ذا برايس تاج يو كان سي باي سيلف 150 dollars and it is available they do have a shopping right now in the corona pandemic time they do they still do ship and like you see myself i received it by myself here anyway let's go now and see what do we have in this box let's check it out here the main selling points 5000 massive mh battery snapdragon 665 6.5 inch display and ultra wide quad cameras crazy setup for 150 dollars Here we go, here we go. So we have some manuals. Since this is a global version, Ninjas, you get for $150 the global version, not the Chinese version. Just have that in mind and be careful where you're buying. Uh, anyway, we also have a pin to open our SIM tray. Uh, let's see here what do we have regarding the charger. We have, this is a big brick, bro. Wow, that's crazy. What is this? What is this? This is basically 5 volts equal 2 amperes output. In a, yeah, yeah, you can see by yourself. 2 amperes, 10 volt. yeah. You can see that you can see by by itself that I hope you can see it. And anyway, we have also a micro USB cable. Unfortunately, this smartphone doesn't have a, it doesn't come with the Type C USB port. It comes with the micro USB port, so you get medium length cable. And anyway, let's leave that on the side. You can see by itself on the top the smartphone, and we're gonna put our hands on this uh, beautiful uh, Realme device. Let's just check it out here. We do have pre-installed uh, screen protector. I can even see that the screen protector is pre-installed. Let me just a little bit uh, clean it and that's fine. Later go, let's see on the back. This is the blue uh, color, if I can call it like that, blue emerald. If I can call it like that there. Quad cameras on the back, fingerprint sensor on the back, flashlight on the back, ninjas. This is, by the way, this is a polycarbonate plastic material. This is plastic material while the frames are made from metal. The frames are made from metal, but the back is made from plastic ninjas. And it's interesting that you can't remove this cover you can't remove this cover interesting anyway volume rocker is on the left side uh, three slots it has two sim cards and one sd card so this is really great for 150 dollars this is really rare to find power button on the right side micro usb uh, 3.5 mm, millimeter headphone jack microphone and speaker do we have additional uh, noise cancellation microphone so far i don't see it in jazz this device doesn't have a noise cancellation microphone unfortunately anyway let's unlock it let's unlock it check it out check it out so this is the realme 5i ultra wide uh, ca quad camera ninjas yes it has super nightscape 2.0 and video stability this device for this price tag it does have video stability also uh, let's move quickly here while i'm talking about the specs here uh, ita 64 Snapdragon 665, it has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, 5000 mAh battery, Snapdragon 665, reverse charging, yes, this device also can work as a power bank, as a power bank, bro, reverse charging, this is where Xiaomi devices uh, don't... Uh, be the realme in these specs because uh, the real the redmi smartphones don't have this uh, feature for the price tag 6.5 inch 89 percent screen to body ratio yes 89 almost 90 percent so the side vessels are really good thin vessels on the top uh, on the top are also thin on the bottom they are just regular classical size for this price tag uh, anyway what do we have also this is a sunrise design the new dawn of style and i love it ninjas honestly i love it to you un until you hold it in a smart in your hand you would notice that this is uh, on the back plastic yes indeed it is plastic and this way the redmi note 8 will win uh, it does have a uh, glass on the back while this one doesn't have a glass neither metal it does have the metal the frames like i said here it, they are made from aluminium alloy anyway uh, regarding the display you can see by itself uh, just a minute just a minute let's go here okay let's go to the device information uh, okay, here we have regarding the device info HW, uh, which is again a bummer, some of you will say, but again, I didn't even notice, honestly, in the uh, first boot up with the smartphone, I did notice that this is an HD panel, bro. It's very sharp, honestly, it is very, very sharp. I can't believe that this is only HD uh, resolution. Again, this is gonna be helpful, really, really helpful for the battery and for the gaming. Uh, Snapdragon 665, this device will have a better gaming performance than the Redmi Note 8, uh, especially also uh, if you are into, like, just say PUBG, Asphalt, uh, Call of Duty, you're gonna have better performance with this device, Ninjas, because it does have a lower resolution that will help a lot. But uh, honestly, I did notice, I thought that on the first beginning of unboxing that this device had and full HD panel but it doesn't have 
it doesn't have ninjas it doesn't have and anyway, let's go now quickly to uh, basically to YouTube by the way this is a global version you're gonna have Play Store already installed and all these Google apps will be pre-installed on your smartphone uh, after you unbox it you're gonna have them here we go here we go uh, some YouTube uh, video 720p resolution maximum over the YouTube and this panel is really cool bro it's a really nice panel here honestly like I said here I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't understand that this device has a, a 720p resolution and again I did in my previous in the past, I did make comparisons between 720p and full HD uh, honestly most of you won't even notice the difference if is it a bad panel of course you can always notice the difference but some 720p like with the Xiaomi Mi A3 uh, are having really great sharp panels Ninjas you probably know about that, I already discussed about it uh, anyway the screen brightness is on the maximum like see myself uh, brightness, out of brightness there you go. This is on the maximum. By the way, this device is 9.3 millimeter thick and it weighs 195 grams. So you have blue and green color. The panel 6.5 inches LCD IPS 20 with 9 aspect ratio, 720 with 1600 uh, resolutions, 270 ppi screen density. It has a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and uh, the Redmi Note 8 has Corning Gorilla Glass 5. So again, yes, uh, Redmi Note 8 it is more tougher, but again, the back glass is not. I think it's not from uh, from the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 with the Redmi Note 8, if I'm not wrong. And this uh, should be uh, this the smartphone which should survive more, bro. It should survive more because of the plastic build. You don't even have to use a case with it. Uh, why? Wait a minute. Let's see here. Here we go. We have another video. Uh, anyway, what else we can mention? Uh, the screen brightness is 480 luxes. 480 luxes, not bad, not bad for this price tag. Again, it's really hard to find these kind of specs. 6.5 inch panel, it's really huge panel for this price tag. NTSC, and it has this water drop notch. So if it's this is your again, they, we have an elephant. Some other brands which have kind of uh, uh, basically how can I uh, say it? Uh, the pop-up cameras, but again, they are really lame smartphones. They don't have a Snapdragon 665. For now, uh, this uh, smartphone, uh, this uh, specs are the cheapest and the best for this price tag. Anyway, the viewing angles are okay, decent, not bad. So better, I have to say that I saw better example showing me A3 does have a better, but again, that's an AMOLED panel with the Xiaomi Mi A3, and so you can't find Xiaomi Mi A3 for $150 right now. First of all, it's even on out of stock, the Xiaomi Mi A3. Anyway, beautiful panel, beautiful panel. From 1 to 10, I'm giving it 8 score, in just 8 score from my side. Checking here the split screen feature with the Realme 5. Uh, I Snapdragon 665 and the color OS 6.0. It's really good, smooth here. I don't have any problems regarding uh, using the split screen option, watching YouTube videos, and browsing through the Play Store. Or maybe you can even use a Facebook. Depends there. I don't. I think you can't use Instagram in the split screen option. You just functionally think so. Anyway, it's very smooth. Let's check here the basically. Just a minute. Let me turn it off. We're gonna check here the keyboard sensitivity touch. Vibration is okay, decent hectic vibration there, the strength of it. It's fast, it is fast here, I don't know, I never had any problems regarding the Realme smartphones with the screen and touch sensitivity. Props up, props up, let's go next. Okay, and of course, uh, after the screen, like always, my standard uh, review procedure, it is to test the speakers, Ninjas. Let's begin, maximum volume, YouTube. Oh -ho. Mashallah, mashallah, ninjas from 1 to 10 and giving it 9 score. This is really great quality sound speaker and it's very loud for this price tag. Again, it's going to be really difficult for you to find anything better than this device. This is a great, great option for the audio lovers. Let's go now with the 3.5mm headphone jack. Checking the headphones. Nice. Great, great volume. By the way, Ninjas, I'm using a cheap $7 uh, earphones uh, uh, from Halo H8, Ninjas. Uh, also, you can buy them on Banggood. I'm going to leave the buying links in the description. Great volume output, great quality. Man, it's $7. <laughs> what else can I tell you that uh, I get still really great quality with $7, eight, uh, $7 earphones, headphone, head, 
earphones earphones anyway great job great job really let's go now with the mic quality okay i just recorded something uh, with the native screen uh, audio recorder let's check it out max volume 212 this is the mic check realme 5i is 40 centimeters away from my mouth 1212 right now my mouth is just a few centimeters away from the mic check check quality today is a beautiful day alhamdulillah not bad, Ninjas, not bad. Not better than the Redmi Note 8, I have to admit. Uh, Redmi Note 8 also has a noise cancellation microphone. This one it seems that doesn't have it. I don't see it anywhere here. But it's very loud. You can see by yourself because the speaker is also very loud. This mic itself, the second one main mi microphone, it does pick up uh, the the basically voice really loud there so you're gonna have a nice uh, output there i mean you're gonna have a nice playback if you're gonna record something and uh, for now the quality is better with the redmi note 8 i just love more the chip there the, basically the mic quality is better with the redmi note 8. still not bad not bad realme 5i let's go next <laughs> Can you just read me a uh, five I camera view? Welcome back. Assalamu alaikum. It's your tech ninja Muhammad. You can have the buy links in the description. This is probably the best alternative to the Redmi Note. Remy 5i handheld footage 1080p 30 fps. Okay, so let's show you Ninjas here. Uh, we, of course, uh, have to show you first the benchmarks regarding the performance and uh, the specs here for the Realme 5i. Uh, let's go down to two uh, here. Basically, you can see by yourself the version. And Tutu is not anymore available on Play Store, so I have to download the, the latest one that you can find APK 8.3.0. Yeah, so this is a standard score for the Snapdragon 665. Uh, let's go to the Geekbench 5. There you go, and we have here the GFX Bench Snapdragon 665 uh, octa core chipset clocked at 2, uh, at, uh, two GHz, uh, Adreno 610, 4 gigs of RAM, DDR4X, and 64 gigs of storage. Yes, it does have an uh, independent SD card support up to a uh, quarter of terabyte in jazz. Let's go now and check here the opening the apps, reopening the apps. Check this out. Okay, I can't do that. I need to three three times, really three times I have to do it. Interesting color os that's not not bad. I mean it's not good because the real uh, the Xiaomi devices have an option just to two time to have two time to cycle between previous apps. These ones you have cycled three times you have to tap three times you can see by yourself. Anyway, uh, RAM management five apps like regular people will use. It's enough. Ninja you can see by yourself. All apps are kept in the background. Five apps. These are the kind of, let's just say, standard apps which many people are using every day. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Play Store. So you can see by yourself and the maps over here we have. Beautiful. It works. Anyway, what else we can see here? Fingerprint sensor. We're going to just test in a minute. The accelerometer, gyroscope. Let's just go uh, quickly here uh, to show you here the thermals while this device is used for regular use. Yeah, here you go. This is the thermals with the regular use. Really cold sensors. We have a gyroscope, magnetometer, proximity, light, and accelerometer. Uh, let's go now to camera to probe. Does it support uh, camera to API? Yes, Gcam is supported with the Realme 5A, uh, I, and DRM and info. Unfortunately, this device uh, doesn't have an HD support for the Netflix. And again, this is a 720p resolution screen. L3 security level wide one. It's not L1. You need the L1 for the full F for the HD uh, high definition quality with the Netflix. So yeah, unfortunately, it's not there in jazz. So the battery life crazy good crazy good ninjas uh, the battery life indeed is crazy good uh, video playback it's almost 20 hours so again yes you should expect something like that uh, again video playback without the internet just you know downloading a uh, video and watching it over that or maybe if you have smart movies for example movies on your smartphone this is crazy good uh, 
Gaming, they said that PUBG nine hours. Uh, I don't believe that. You're gonna have my test inshallah soon, so stick around with for that one. Uh, anyway, 5000 mh battery in so Also, you can use the performance mode or the smart performance mode or no performance improvement. Also, turn off improved performance to extend the battery life. So, if you don't care for the gaming, <laughs> You should go with this option over here and just, of course, enable all the things. Screen battery optimization, balance mode, high uh, energy efficient mode. Also, you can use with this one. So again, it's very customizable. Uh, Color OS is very customizable. Indeed, it does have Android 9, like the Redmi Note 8 also has Android 9. I don't see that it's running still on Android 10. Uh, the Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 8T. Android version and security patch is from the December 2019. Yeah, again, it does have the reverse uh, charging and remember that this device has a 10 watts charging support, not 18 watts, so Redmi Note 8 does win in the charging speeds. Not a big difference, but again, it does have slightly faster charging speeds. Okay, let's go with the Face ID and fingerprint sensor. Let's go first with the Face ID. Also, you can use the uh, swipe up to unlock option. You don't have to uh, basically do like this if you want to have notification to see the notification without unlocking the smartphone completely. Very fast, very fast and just very reliable. You can see by itself, it does unlock instantly there. No sweat at all, no problems with the Realme 5i. Let's go to the fingerprint sensor. Okay, fingerprint sensor. You get the point, you just get the point here, maybe slightly, a little bit around, maybe around 10% slower than the Redmi Note 8. Not a big difference, just a tiner one regarding the fingerprint sensor, screen wake up time, unlocking. Again, like I said here, minor, minor difference. So it's not something that which will make a huge impact in your decision. Uh, so yeah, thank you, thank you, Realme 5i for the face ID and fingerprint sensor. And by the way, I'm using HD graphics. Check this out, I'm using HD graphics. Let's go to balance. Okay, now it is smoother, and you can noticeable, very, very big difference. That was insane. Oh, this guy is crazy. I think he killed me again. The same guy. What did he disappear? That you. So I just my conclusions uh, for 30 seconds. Is it worth buying the Realme 5i over the Redmi Note 8? Depends, Ninjas, depends. If you want to have a better battery life uh, and uh, macro lens there for you, Ninjas, uh, if you want to have this smartphone, which uh, you don't have to use a cover because the Redmi Note 8 is very sensitive. It has a glass on the back. You should go with the Realme 5i, Ninjas. Also, it, it works as a power bank. It has reverse charging. So this is very, very helpful for the on the go. Um, again, it's nice, Ninja. It's nice here. I do recommend it for the people who want to uh, try something instead of the MIUI. Color OS is getting better and better, but still, I would say that you know many of you will choose the MIUI. So that's why I'm going to leave you the buying links for the Redmi Note 8. Uh, again, you $150. I think you can get the Redmi Note 8 on Glo on the Banggood and Gearbest. So I'm going to leave you the buying links in the description. Thank you for watching this video. See you till next time. Like I said here, this is the best competitor for the Redmi Note 8. Uh, uh, nothing can beat it right now. These two smartphones, nothing. Great job. Great job from the Realme and Redmi company slash Xiaomi.